So we have tried smartwatches under 1000, 5000, 10,000 and even 40,000. And now after trying so many smartwatches, the only ones worth buying are around 5000. Now there's one smartwatch which is at really good discount, the Galaxy Watch 4. Now if you go on Amazon, it shows it is at 14,694 which is still less than its usual price of like 16, 17,000. But here, if you scroll down and you click on the other seller, it's available at 12,990, which is the lowest the Galaxy Watch 4 has been selling for. It is the best Android smartwatch at that price range. You can install apps, take calls, use Google Assistant, all of that. So this is Pratik and we are covering a lot of good deals and products for Amazon Prime Day sales. So your job becomes easier, check those out. And if you find those helpful, like the video so it reaches to more people. Now we'll start with a good smartwatch and slowly move towards the best smartwatch you can get under 5000. First up, we have the recently launched Firebolt Ring 3. It cost 4999. Build quality is like one of the best in this list. It's all metal and definitely feels premium. Even the display is very bright in sunlight and high quality. In fact, let me bring the Apple Watch 6. It costs about 40,000 and see, it looks almost close to that. It's also the most feature-rich watch in this entire list. But before we get to the features, if this is your first smartwatch, you get the dial, straps in the box. You can also buy extra straps from offline market or online. Mostly, the smartwatches have removable and replaceable strap. You get a proprietary charger, some paperwork, and have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, and even the watch face. You get seven Virat Kohli photos in the box. Looks like Firebolt has a brand ambassador. Okay, talking about features, you can make calls from the watch. So you get, see here, a dedicated dial pad. And now I can call and dial just from the watch. Hello Manu, are you subscribed to TechWiser? So the sound was from the smartwatch and the call quality is pretty good. And if you swipe right, 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 you get Google Assistant. Who is the current president of India? President of India is Ram Nath Kovind. Perfect. So it only works if your phone is nearby. And there are tons of other features like camera shutter, weather app, even a full-fledged calculator. And there are some games as well which you can play since the screen is huge. That said, while in my few days of usage, I did face some weird problems. Like it got disconnected twice in two days. For example, on the app, see here, it will show as a paired device, but on the watch, it will be unpaired. Sometimes it also switches the phone's sound to the watch speaker while I was watching YouTube videos. Like you can see, the audio is coming from the watch. Now you can go to Bluetooth settings and turn off media. It's just weird because why would anyone want to listen to songs through a smartwatch speaker when they have their phone? And now, believe it or not, Firebolt is one of the top selling smartwatch manufacturer in India. And the big reason has been Bluetooth calling and features in the budget. And features sell well in India. We Indians like a lot of features. So company tried to give you as many features as possible at a cheaper price. But it often compromises fundamentals like frequent disconnection or audio bugs, etc. My recommendation would be not to look for features as much, but buy a good fundamentally sound watch. Again, if you want calling on a budget smartwatch, you can get the Firebolt 3 ring. Next up is the cheapest watch in this list, Dizo Watch D. It costs about 2499. Now, for that price, you get a 1.8 inch TFT display, and as per Dizo, it is the biggest display in the segment. Never knew that was a feature. And this is one trend I have seen is smartwatches display are getting bigger now. Every smartwatch display goes to like 1.7 or 1.8 these days. So, do you guys love big smartwatches? Anyway, Dizo claims it has 550 nits brightness. Now, nits is basically a number for brightness. Now, here in outdoor sunlight, if you see, it is bright enough. So, usually, TFT displays aren't that good in outdoor sunlight, but this is working well. Also, you get a lot of watch faces in the app. You can even put your own photo as a watch face. See? Nice. Now, one very interesting thing. See here, I left the watch one day in the office and it shows no sleep data for that day. Rest, I have sleep data for four days. And let me explain this to you. This is Bottle God or for all Panchayat fans out there, Pardhan Ji Ki Lauki. And now see, the Dizo Watch D, it takes some time, but there's an error. And BIP3 straight up rejects taking heart rate. Let's do it once again. No, it doesn't take heart rate. Now, let us try the same firebolt on Pradhan Ji Ki Lauki and... Now see, it's showing the heart rate reading and it's continuous. Again, let me try with Noise Colors Fit Pro 4. Again, it shows heart rate data. 
Now, the problem with that is, what if you leave your smartwatch in the bag or just on your table? They'll keep taking readings and it will show that as your heart rate or sleep data, which is wrong. Now, good smartwatches have a wear detection sensor or just smart coding. They avoid these mistakes. Rest, the step tracking, sleep data, heart rate and all of that, it is accurate. Next up is my favorite, BIP3 and BIP3 Pro. Now, Amazfit has launched two smartwatches recently, BIP3 and BIP3 Pro. Now, BIP3 cost 2999 but BIP3 Pro cost 4499, 1500 more. And the major difference between BIP3 and BIP3 Pro is GPS. BIP3 Pro has inbuilt GPS. So if you're a runner or want to track your physical activity without carrying your phone with you, get the BIP3 Pro. For most of the people, BIP3 should work. Now, we bought the BIP3. Now, taking a look at the design, it's quite lightweight, which is good, but the rest is basic looking smartwatch. Amazfit watches are not very good looking, basic. You get a 1.69 inch TFT screen. Swiping from the top brings the quick settings and from the bottom, you get notifications and on the right, you get activity, heart rate, etc. Also, features are quite basic in this watch. Like you get activity tracking, workout, heart rate, SpO2, sleep tracking, etc. There's no swim tracking, which if you swim almost daily like me, then it will be a big letdown. But here's why you should still consider BIP3. See, unlike other smartwatch manufacturers whose main focus is in using smartwatches as fast fashion, like clothes, and providing tons of features, Amazfit has been making good smartwatches for many years and they have expertise in accuracy. So sleep tracking, step tracking, heart rate, SpO2 is better than all the other smartwatches in this price range. Let's take the example of sleep tracking. See here, it not only shows when did you sleep and got up, but also much details like deep sleep time, REM cycle, etc. Overall, no other smartwatches goes into that many details and shows accurate data at the same time. So if you're a fitness enthusiast who is fine with basic looking watch and no fancy smartwatch features, but you still need good accuracy for fitness activity, then BIP3 is worth buying. Next up, we have Noise Color Fit Pro 4. It costs 3999 and you get 60 hertz screen, Bluetooth calling, 1.72 inch TFT display and this small digital crown. In case you don't know, the button on this watch is called crown. Now, it's a functional crown. Like see here, I can scroll through the menu. I can scroll through the settings option, everything. I found the UI a bit different from the rest. Like swiping from top brings notification and swiping from the bottom brings quick control. Like this is opposite to other smartwatches or your smartphone. Also, to bring the menu, you have to press the crown button. This could be a bit inconvenient at the start, but you'll get used to it after a while. And the crown works exactly like it works on an expensive Apple Watch. And even the UI is smooth due to the 60 hertz screen. And you get all the other features. Just one thing that separates this watch from the rest is it has live watch faces. You see the elements on this watch are live elements. So if you tap on the heart, it will bring up the heart rate sensor. So no other watch in this list has it. This is also a calling watch. You get a dialer or if you want and you don't remember the numbers because hey, you can also add favorite contacts or even check the dialer history. Sorry, can't show you the numbers. Now, let me show you the mic quality. So this is the audio from the Noise Colorfit Pro 4, a quick brown fox jumps over a lazy dog. And this is the audio from the Firebolt Ring 3, a quick brown fox jumps over a lazy dog. Let me know which one was better. Finally, all of these smartwatches in this list are feature packed, but they have a TFT display. One problem with that is you cannot have always on screen on a TFT display. Always on screen is something which shows time all the time, like just like a normal watch. Now the best AMOLED display smartwatches in this price range is Noise Colorfit Ultra 2. It cost 5499. Rest, if you get an AMOLED smartwatch, you won't get Bluetooth calling or all of those features. Rest, heart rate tracking, SpO2, etc. is present on all smartwatches in this price range. If you want something smaller in AMOLED, Amazfit GTS 2 Mini has a 1.55 inch AMOLED display. You can get this for the same 5499. So that was the list. If you want a budget smartwatch around 2499, Dezo Watch D is a good option. If you want a Bluetooth calling smartwatch, Noise Colorfit Pro 4 is a good option. And if you want something for fitness and accuracy, Big 3 is a good option. Rest, I'm seeing a trend that now most of the smartwatches in this price are getting Bluetooth calling smartwatch features and it is going to increase. If you want us to make a dedicated video on cheap versus medium versus expensive smartwatch, 6,000 likes, we do it. On that note, this is Zadik signing off. See you in the next video. Peep, peep.